Well, that is quite quickly. All right, what's up, everybody? So back from the gym. It's Wednesday. Long, long day. Rode in the morning. Went to class. Hung out with the girlfriend, and then just chilling. That's right. It's weird being by myself. Anyways, I'm not gonna get into that again. Really wanted to show you guys because I did make a grocery pickup. Just a few things I'm picking up for tonight. I'm making a little pizza. Also doing a little webcast again with ever everybody on my YouTube channel, my subscribers, and everything like that. So you should tune into that. Well, you'll be seeing this after it's up. But anyways, so here we go. Small grocery pickup. I don't really like to buy a lot of. I guess you could say I don't go and get a giant shopping cart full of groceries ever. I've never really, ever since I started living on my own, I never did that. I like to buy every day or every other day. So these are just the essentials in my household. So we're we'll starting off here. Oh, it's pretty standard. Go through. I'd say one of those a week. Spinach. Got to get those micros in. Monster for I'm actually not drinking as much energy drinks anymore, but this is my favorite one So I'm actually gonna do more coffee from now on as opposed to energy drinks. So that's just for uh, Just for fasted sessions before work. So Tuesdays and Thursdays are the only mornings I'll have those light mayo because I got to watch my figure, you know Chicken pretty standard right there. These are just the thin cut I like I like the thin cut ones, but I also have Target had a great deal going on. I normally never buy this Tyson, but they had like a 370. This was like 375 for this two pound bag right here, so I took advantage of that. Next, we just have broccoli, so it's roughly about two pounds. So I'll have that for dinner. My favorite brand of peanut butter right now. I have many, but that's my current favorite right now. Pears, I usually, I snack on fruit, have pears for work, and then I do bananas. Let's get my bananas right there. Pizza sauce for tonight's pizza. Always gotta have mozzarella. Favorite snack before bed, fish sticks. No homo. Macros on these, I don't even know. Not too, too bad, but they are amazing. Fully hydrogenated. I don't even know. Um, but yeah, they're amazing. Store brand, because I don't mess with the name brand stuff, except for this. Ha! Got you there, didn't I? Actually, I've never gotten these before. I'm a huge wheat, th wheat thin guy. Try those out. And my liquid sweetener, because I love cancer. Alright guys, you know the drill. It's time to make some pizza. I love pizza. It's even better when it's homemade. Alright, so my first time frying sweet potatoes in, co in coconut oil and it actually turned out pretty damn good. So that right there. I got some bananas too. I like to dip it in my all time favorite food or one of my all time favorite foods, peanut butter. 
So, coconut oil. I never tried it up until like three months ago when I did my vegan, not my vegan, uh, my eat clean 22,000 calorie challenge. That was the first time I've ever tried coconut oil and I always thought it was like way overhyped because of like the whole bulletproof coffee thing, but it's actually really solid. Boom. Give it a shot if you guys haven't already. Alrighty guys, Eric coming to you guys again with another cereal review. Here we have Life Cinnamon. I've always been a fan of normal life cereals, so I'm gonna try this one out for you guys and see how it is. And I'm also gonna be trying out a new Almond Breeze Hint of Honey Vanilla Almond Milk. We're gonna see how all that is. I'm very excited about both of these, but mainly excited about this almond milk. It actually seems to be, I mean, the macros on it are pretty good, 60, 60 cows per, um, per cup, so I mean, that's pretty solid overall. You guys can check that out right there. But, like I said, I'm a huge fan of Life Cereal. Some of you may find this a bit boring, but surprisingly, Life is not boring. It smells like Cinnamon Toast Crunch in the box. It's kind of hard to see in there, but... Are you serious? Fucking. Yeah. yeah, guys. That is the real deal right there. <clears throat> I want to say <clears throat> it's hard because with like cinnamon cereal or especially with cinnamon cereal, when you put like cinnamon toast crunch, for example, when you put it in the bowl, the milk soaks, soaks up all the cinnamon and you just pretty much get cinnamon milk. So, but I'm getting a lot of honey in that. Obviously you just get a little taste of it cause it's not like a super sweet milk, but definitely give that Almond Breeze milk a try. Uh, it's called a hint of honey again. So give it a shot. Um, as far as the cereal goes, it's definitely going to be an 8 out of 10. I feel like it's um, not too sweet, but it's, it's a perfect, um, perfect taste. So I feel like Cinnamon Toast Crunch is like way over the, overboard and I'm not going there ever again. I used to go through boxes of those like crazy as a kid, but honestly, yeah, the uh, reasons why it's not a 10 out of 10, you have to have like a freaking perfect box of cereal for me to, to get a 10 out of 10. I won't reveal my 10 out of 10 cereal in this video, but in future ones I will. Um, in, a, in a future video I will. But definitely pick up the Almond Breeze milk, I'd rate that probably a seven. You know, it'd be a 10 out of 10 if it was a little bit sweeter, um, a little bit thicker, but that's what you get when you get almond milk, I guess. So. Anyways guys, pick up the cereal, try the almond milk, and stay tuned for the next video.